Welcome back to the uh, Pioneer Arena. Halftime here in this uh, preliminary round match. Serbia leading 13-6 against Slovakia in a very one-sided first half. Marjanac, the uh, Serbian keeper, 54% success rate. But the story really is that uh, Slovakia succeeding with just 33% of their shots in the first half. And Zoltan Heist today, I'm not sure what he could have done at halftime to gear them up. They've got no threat at the back. They're not pulling out the defence in any way, shape or form. The Serbians are dictating the game and uh, scoring with relative ease, but not appearing to push themselves particularly hard. And it looks like Stanic there, number 12, won't to start the second half either. Played absolutely brilliantly, the uh, Metalux Skopje goalkeeper, Marijanac, uh, getting a chance for a run out of uh, Veselin Vukovic turned the bench. Remember that if you want to read stories uh, about the uh, Euro 2012, background stories, interesting facts and figures, team information, and even follow the game blow by blow, you can get all that on www.ehf-euro.com. Uh, Petro not seeming unduly concerned. This is the last game for Slovakia, who are heading out. They are bottom of this group, and I'm afraid can't change their position. Serbia, Poland, and Denmark are going through. We know that already. Serbia will go through with a maximum four points from their wins over Poland and Denmark. Poland take two points from them earlier win today. This uh, last minute hold up when they uh, overtook Denmark at the death to take the points. And Denmark, one of the big favourites and silver medalists of the World Championships, go through with zero points. So Serbia get the second half underway here in Belgrade. An early mistake to give possession back to the Slovakians. Not really what they wanted to do when they're short-handed. A uh, suspension for Toskic. Just straddling the half-time break. <laughs> Top uh, marksman for Slovakia, Valo, managing just uh, one goal from four attempts so far in the game. They really need him to fire on all cylinders, looking to pass quickly into the wing. Well, they started with a little point for uh, Um in the second half. They've just got to maintain it now and not give away cheap balls for those fast breaks. Spread it wide as well. That's more like it. Beautiful. <laughs> Well, they need so much more of. They haven't had that full dimension of the game in the first half. Urban scoring. First goal for him in the game. Six goals in the first half. That's a pretty uh, whole treat total, I'm afraid. Kostic is back on again for Serbia. Sesum has started left back, still in place of uh, Ilic, the captain. Saved by Stockel, goes out behind for a goalkeeper throw, does it? No. Gone to the side. Throw in for Serbia, who keeps possession. Throw to be taken by Markovic, the 25 year old who plays in Macedonia. For Vardar, pro. Tutura is the playmaker. We're pushing up a little bit deeper. So whilst this group was uh, all settled before the day got underway. Oh, great save again by Stockel. Of uh, Prodanovic. Rare failure by him. Valo into the wing. There's no space though for the shot and Urban has to bring it back out again. Valo. Well, was that deliberate? I think it was. Sutura gets two minutes. Put his foot in the way deliberately to stop the pass into the winger. Russian referees won't have any of it. You're off. Well, in fairness, he didn't move his foot. His foot was static. He reached down with his hand. Uh, the replay may show that he's got a little bit of a case. I don't think it's going to swing very much, unfortunately, in this game. Even uh, in power play situations, Slovakia has struggled against the Serbian defence. Their wingers are really stretching out now as deep as they can, and they're strong. Stranovsky's free over there. Quick pass. It comes too late. He scores anyway, but that should have gone straight away to him. In fact, it's not uh, Stranovsky's Antle on the left wing. Uh, some of the Slovakian supporters who made the trip. I'm afraid they're not being rewarded with uh, exciting play from their team in their last match of Euro 2012. And indeed, the last match of his international career for Daniel Valo. Admittedly, it was always going to be a tough game against the host nation. He's also fervently supported by... Uh, most of the 8,000 spectators in the hall here. Elix is back on again. Free throw. Elix, who plays for Kiel in the German Bundesliga, the number 13 for Serbia. 
Kiel who are running away with the uh, Bundesliga this season. They won all their matches up to the Christmas break. That's gone wide, but it came off a uh, Slovakian defender. And it's a throw in from the corner. Stankovic taking the shot. 29 year old who plays in France for Cate. Uh, struggling to control the ball there, Sesum, and uh, back come the Slovakian team. Well, they scored uh, the only two goals of the second half so far. Valo again, you can see he's half hearted, he's coming in. Looks like he has no intention of taking the shot. The follow up, though, delivers as Kopchul gets the ball, and it's a three goal run. The score beginning to look a little bit more respectable as they close the gap. Serbia have uh, gone into the half-time break with a comfortable lead and uh, come out and are not firing on all cylinders yet. I think they've gone cold in the break. Taking things a little bit for granted and uh, Vukovic may turn the bench around just to make sure that uh, they can get the uh, momentum going again. Sutura is in, both left back. Sissin has gone into the centre. Oh, Sokol should have got that one really, but I think it took a slight deflection. Yeah, slightly deflected, but just enough to go under his hand. This is the 25-year-old who's uh, coming up to 100 caps, 246 goals, recovered from that elbow injury. Well, they need Valo to fire up a bit, the number nine there at the bottom of the picture. Penalty, standing on the line. And if Toskis looks down at his feet, you'll see they are right on the line. Ball goes in, he's standing inside. And a little sharp as well with the body. But they've got to score the penalty yet. Mariana just saved two so far. Antor to take it. Saved again. He was kneeling inside the area, and Mariana to start looking better and better by the minute. Three penalties from five. There was no power to it. He kind of dived forwards, but without really exploding on the shot. Obviously, when the goalkeeper stands right back on the line, of course, uh, you can see more of the goal, but he's got more time to react. Hard shot, comfortably picked up. Little. Uh, Hug at the back there as the ball's picked up loose in the area by Valo, and it's a throw for Slovakia, who at least steadied the ship slightly here at the beginning of the second half. Three goals have begun to make things look a little bit more acceptable for them. Well, Serbia were winning all their warm-up games for Euro 2012. The Slovakians had their mixed fortunes, were hammered by Hungary in best prem at the beginning of January. Then they went off to play a Four Nations tournament in Croatia, where they lost to Sweden and to Croatia, but beat Iran. Probably greatest success of uh, recent times, there was a victory against France in France back in November. Took everyone by surprise. It's the European World and Olympic champions, uh, but the next day normal service was resumed as uh, the four Slovakians were absolutely hammered into the ground. The France are trying to make a point, but uh, the history books will still show a Slovakian victory over the French their own backyard. Looking up to see if that's going to be a penalty. It's not, it's a free throw, but they've uh, given that chance away by losing the ball now. And back comes Serbia. Five goal lead into the wing. Straight over the head of the keeper. Subtly done. That was beautiful by Markovic. Broken wrist shot. Dropped his wrist back, and it looked like it was a quick arm action for a hard shot. But actually, it rolls off his fingertips and just curves over the shoulder of the goalkeeper. He's also flinching somewhat because he's expecting the hard shot. And still Heister looks absolutely dispassionate about the whole thing on the bench. Possession goes over again and back comes Serbia. Good save again, while well, Stockel has really spared their blushes here in the second half. Chance from the wing, no mistake there though, and Antel scores. Second goal of the game for him, and finally they get double digits on the board, 10-15. The 
performing for Serbia is just taking things too easy at the moment. Long range shots really aren't coming in. And Sukura saying, come on, let's speed up things, and they've uh, lost possession. Slovakia have dispossessed them, and uh, well, something's happened at half time. The Slovakians have decided we can't go out with an embarrassment, not after the Poland result. Balo has a shot, but uh, relatively weak one under a lot of pressure. It gives him a free throw. Running across, but uh, again, the problem for him is he's running across the goal. He's got to drive at goal to get the power. Instead, he goes across, and that's not going to deliver anything. Just a brief stop in play there to mop things up. Well, of course, Serbia qualified automatically for Euro 2012 as hosts. But the Slovakia had to go through a qualification process to win Group 4. Four teams in each group, the top two teams going through. They finished second to Sweden, but ahead of Montenegro and Israel to book their Euro 2012 ticket, which is about to run out after this game. Valo, nothing given. Very, very late whistle by the Russian referees. Long consideration. needs to drive straight and they're not really swapping over maybe Hrusak could come in or even Nikechi for that matter we've got a two minute suspension he went almost before he was told to go Zarko Sesum starts walking who oh, is it it's Markovic has gone off it's Markovic I beg your pardon but uh, he knew it had absolutely no doubt let's see this again lost his balance held on to the shirt and pulled him down and then just got up and walked straight to the bench. So power play for Slovakia, only five goals adrift. Actually make that four. And uh, Urban scores. Second goal for him. And the wingers are coming good here. Antl and Urban two apiece in the second half. They realise that by spreading the play wider, since the back players aren't successful, let's at least try and uh, spread the game and use our wingers. And Stranowski, who's not started in the second half, probably wishing they would learned that lesson in the first half. Shot efficiency relatively close, 48% for Serbia, but it's coming up now for Slovakia, 44%, big improvement. Long range shot, say by Stockel and picked up on the line. Valo's got the ball. Into the wing. Well, the uh, spectators trying to. Uh, oh, on the inside post. Touch the keeper, they say. It's a throw in for Slovakia. That could nearly have been another one. Mikeci. Beautiful. Little Kempe angled too close for the shots. He lobs the ball across. Kukuchka jumps into the area, grabs the ball and shoots before he lands. And a three goal run without reply. See Slovakia close it to within three all of a sudden. It was seven down at one point, remember. And the crowd are suddenly waking up to the fact that they've got to get behind the team. Serbia taking it just a little bit too easy here. It's been a 6 2 exchange so far in the opening 11 and a half minutes of this half. Time to get Ilic back on again, if uh, nothing else, just from a psychological standpoint. The result is irrelevant here. Serbia know that they're going through to the next round with maximum points. With Slovakia unable to qualify for the main round. Pretty much uh, coming up to five minutes without a goal now for Serbia. Direction to Kura and the long range shot again, straight down the centre, well picked up by Stockel. Oh, did well to grab that one, almost went beyond his reach, but somehow Duris got his hand to it. And the uh, Slovakian supporters who made the trip can't quite believe the transformation since half time. Slovakia within two all of a sudden after they looked absolutely dead and buried in the first half. 
Mariana slips his left leg, and the moment he does that, he's beaten. The ball just dropped. He sort of stood his ground a little longer because he was somewhat off balance during this when he took the shot anyway. Kukuczka, Cecil in for the line. No way through there for Toskic. And Slovakia are really fired up all of a sudden. Oh, what a comeback this would be. Knocked off the ball, but that's going to be a free throw for Serbia. Tell you in the uh, other match in uh, Nice, the group that will merge with this one. We already know that Germany and Sweden are going through to the main round, but uh, the Czech Republic and Macedonia are locked in battle at the moment. The winner of that match will join the others in the main round. Macedonia leading 17-15 there. And if it's a draw, the Czech Republic will be the beneficiaries. So they're still trying to find back of the net here. Oof. Two minutes suspension, that's got to be. Kutura fouled, and it was uh, Messi blocked by Antel, who just caught the arm and wrenched it back. I'm not sure he can have too much argument with the Russian referees on that one. And the replay, I'm sure, if you can just see it past the mass of players, but look at this, grabs the arm and pulls it down as he's going to shoot. And, uh, clear two minutes, as you can get. So a penalty has been given. Ilic comes off the bench and plays it superbly. Stockel almost in his face, went right up to the four-meter line and almost jumped beyond it. But Ilic brings his arm through quickly, but look at his wrist drop back and puts the back spin on it. It's superb, brilliantly taken, and they needed that because it's been a long run since the last scored seven and a half minutes in to the first half. Uh, the second half, I pick your pardon. So there's some seven minutes without goal. other's way now. Balo and will get the shot in. Okay, through sack in at least to have a go. Long range shot. Oh, surprised the keeper. Well, he's not getting the jump shots in, but a uh, little bit of luck there on the low one. Comes in, left hander. He's got himself on the wrong side of the court, but shoots around the defender. And Mariana wouldn't have seen that come until the very last second, and still they stay very closely in touch. Only Valo's second goal in the game. Two goals in it, we're midway through the second half. Attackers foul. Sesum jumps straight into the defender. Valo almost bowled over on the six-meter line. Well, I have to say, he wasn't in front of him. I think that's a tough call against Sesum. He's jumped across the area. I'd give that as a penalty. Well, the Slovakians will be so relieved because at half-time it looked like it was just going to be a disastrous scoreline for their last match in Euro 2012. Change of defence by Serbia, who shift to a 5-0-1 defence. Individually marking left-back, who slips on uh, some moisture on the floor. Oh, lovely one-handed take inside the area, it won't count. Unlucky for Markovic. Spun the ball beautifully around the goalkeeper. And they switch back to this 5-1 defence. He's marking Lubomir Duris. Duris, who's uh, initially moved off to the left-hand side. Slovakia, full strength. And uh, again, some dirt's been picked up on the ball. So for Vukovic, it may be a match where the outcome will not affect their qualification, but he certainly won't want to go into the main round with a uh, poor performance against Slovakia behind them. That would be unfortunate. Marjanac still uh, having a good run in goal. Deputising for Stanic here today. 
He's on a 42% save rate. And Balor's got jump to shoot. And reacting well. And the Heister, well, he's found something for his team for the second half. They've come right back into it. They're dominating the second half at the moment. 8-3. They scored more goals in the 15 minutes of this half than they did in the entire first half. Oh, superb! The little dummy, the line player, stood off, and as he did, Juris just went through. Second goal for Juris. And they are within one, under the leg, playing legs of Marianac, the 26-year-old keeper. And the Slovakian fans, well, some of them may well have been contemplating going home at half-time. The scoreline of 13-6. No mistake there, though. Big angle for the wing shot. And well put away by Kostadinovic. Newcomer to the Serbian team, the 23-year-old. Just one cap coming into the competition. Serbian fans deciding uh, for some more radical action to uh, put off the Slovakians after initially being relatively quiet, thinking that their team were going to walk it anyway. It's not the way it's turned out in the end. And Valo, he's got his range finally. That's his first decent long range shot he's had. The other ones have been low shots of trying to break through. If he can get a few more of those, that will certainly help. It will release space for the line player as well. And they're within one. Valo's uh, last hurrah here, last international appearance. After announcing his retirement, played in the last two World Championships. Uh, they were close to uh, pulling off a surprise against Denmark in the opening game. The 30-25 scoreline to the Danes, somewhat flattering with a flurry of late goals. Straight down the centre, Stockel saves it. The ball's picked up by Valo. So, quick swap, Slovakia bring back on Urban and Kukuczka, just one goal in it. You can see the bottom of the picture, the uh, Serbian bench on their feet, uh, urging on the team, push up, be more aggressive in defence, they're just running around at the moment, nearly there but intercepted. Will he need support? Cut across and blocked him, stayed outside the area. And Kostadinovic denied. But it looked like he was certain to do it. Great work, though, by Juris. Did well to stay with him, giving away the free throw, but that's better than a straight fast break. Got a bit of a quick discussion there with Markovic. Who's uh, played 74 times for Serbia? Playing in Macedonia now. This had a spell in Spain with uh, Encantada. So Elix is back on again. Decided to bring back some uh, serious firepower at the back. And that's more like it. As soon as he's there, it uh, focuses the defense on him a little. And Chutura finds a way through. There's Ilic, she takes two defenders. Toskic then holds back the third one. Futura, third goal. 18-16. Cuts through, oh, almost there. Fouled on the six-metre line, but just before he could get past the two defenders. Into the, I had to go quicker to the wing again. They're not moving the ball into the wing quick enough. Attackers foul, ran straight into him. Serbia trying to move the ball up quickly. Ilic gets himself free of his marker. Into the wing. Saved. 
We've got a two-minute suspension. And the foul. Let's have a little quick look and see if the line players go. Oh, there it is. And it was slapped with the uh, arm by uh, Kopchow. It's unsubtle as it comes. Not the world's best effort, I have to say. That's his second two minute suspension. One more, and he'll be red carded. That was very clumsy. Well, clumsy maybe not quite the word, but anyway, Katrin Stankovic. The uh, French face right back and uh, of course a lot of attention needed uh, on the Serbian bench are getting quite excited from the uh, officials here We're inside the last 10 minutes of the game Serbia with just a two goal lead Slovakia have had the better of it in this half but they're short-handed now for the next two minutes Toskic didn't need the winger Defence looks to the referees as if to say, well, that was an attacking foul. Let's have a quick look and see. Well, they were both standing inside the area to start with, so uh, they couldn't really argue that. And a bit of a comfort zone dig given to them with that three-goal lead. Koskic is based in Slovenia, plays for Selje. Gives a little bit of breathing space. A little change of direction into the wing. Oh, tried to swing it round, I think, with a bit of spin, but it didn't go anywhere for Urban. And back comes Serbia, and suddenly they're firing on all cylinders. It's almost as if it coincides with the return of Ilic. But they are re-energised. Valo looks to the referee, surely not. Well, I'm afraid it is the way it's going. And still a power play situation for the Serbians now to build on for 45 seconds. Vukovic still not happy, though, with the way how things are going for the team. Ilic, Pura in the centre. Union having an extended break as well. Sukura looks for the line. Toskic has pushed out, has to come back. He's trying to release the winger, I think. And uh, Duda says, yeah, hey, look, he's holding my shirt. I can't do anything about it. It looks like I'm holding him, but he's clasping me. And, uh, well, the evidence is there, I'm afraid. Oh. Looking for the wing, but it goes out of play instead. Stockel looks for a long pass. Phase two attack now. The Serbians very quickly back in defence. Valo, if he's more adventurous, he could drive into the centre, but he doesn't do it. And we've now got a two-minute suspension for Serbia. Beliansky. So that will level things up. And uh, Slovakia, one second away from getting back to full strength. There's why. It's a little bit silly just grab Antwo. absolutely no rhyme or reason for doing it whatsoever and uh, Vukovic may have a few words uh, for him at the end of the game Vukovic who was uh, an Olympic champion in 84 with Yugoslavia so he was a line player in those days and a world champion in 86 that's the match I remember going to watch in Switzerland the final against uh, Hungary into the wing Oh, beautifully done in the top corner. Nicely played by Radoslav Antl, his third goal. And an absolutely transformed Slovakia in the second half. It's got 11 goals in the second half. It's six for Serbia. And a power play situation still for just over a minute now. The uh, Slovakians need to try and get possession back. Well, I can tell you, Nish, Macedonia still uh, in the lead, 22-19 against the Czech Republic. Off the post, and now it's a uh, Slovakian ball. Power play situation. They've got a sprint it quick. Oh! Nearly intercepted. It was very, very close, but Jury's got it in the end. Three from three for him. And once more, they are within one goal of Serbia. It's one of those where the Serbians have a comfortable lead. And then bit by bit of the second half, you suddenly realize that actually we're losing the initiative here. Power play situation sees the Slovakians individually. Mark Ilic, who chooses to go in on the line, comes back out again. He's going to give a run around to his Marko Turis. Save by Stockel, but a penalty has been given. The foul on Stankovic. By Kopcho, living on the edge of Kopcho, the uh, 
Big line flare. 95 kilos, 189, but it was a great save by Stocko. 36 year old Slovak goalkeeper. A change of uh, goalkeeper for Slovakia, Milos Tutera. Comes in, plays for Hüttenberg in Germany. 14 caps and a relative newcomer. He's up against the mighty Momir Ilic. No trouble there. Butera lifts his uh, right leg and arm, and as soon as he does that, the ball just goes down the other side. That's uh, bread and butter stuff for Ilic. Brings up the 20 for Serbia. Twenty eighteen to Serbia, five minutes remaining in the game. Ovalo in the centre, Turis. He's really added a good bit of pace there. That needed the quick ball into the line. Line player free briefly, one moment into the wing. Yes! Beautifully done. Valo drives in, passes around the back of the defender. Urban follows up. And once more, they're close to within one goal. Four and a half minutes remaining. We need a quick word with uh, Markovic on the left wing. Sutura. Not high efficiency rate really on either side. Slovakia 54% with their shooting, 49% only for Serbia. It's really fallen off the scale in the second half. Ilic runs into a wall of defenders. Toskic, meanwhile, is being individually marked inside the area. And a team timeout called by Vukovic. Well, minutes remaining in the game, and it's uh, not quite working for them, but they have turned the bench. Serbia, Nikcevic isn't on. Huyin's having a long break. Of course, Stanic in goal. Well, you don't need to change him out. Marianac is doing perfectly well on his own. Thank you very much indeed. Although his statistics going down a little from nearly 50% at half time, he's on 37% now. But uh, they've lost their way in the second half of Serbia, the uh, cohesion. And it's hard sometimes to keep the focus when you're winning. Anyways, they were at half time. And it's a match without consequence for them because ultimately they're already qualified and they're going through with maximum points. But psychologically, of course, you want to go through with the. Uh, full set of points in your group and show you've won all your matches and of course the crowd here are putting the pressure on because they want them to succeed they want them to win all their matches no one will accept a tactical loss but uh, from the outset the Serbia said this is not a game we're coming in to give up just because it's not uh, without consequence we want to win this well Heist and his team were out of their depths at half time six goals only in the first half but they've scored 13 so far in the second half here against Serbia seven and are right back in the frame one goal adrift only with four minutes remaining fumble the ball taken Wing is away, he's got support. Juris. Marianac committed himself very early, went to ground, and suddenly the scores are tied. Juris' fourth goal. Stolen on the far side. Great play. Antel steals it. And uh, Marianac much too early going down. Well, the crowd trying to lift them, but uh, it's almost reminiscent of the earlier game. Oh, clips the bar and stays out. The only game when uh, Denmark looked in control, but not being able to pull away from Poland all the way through the second half. And right at the end, Poland sneaked it, just leveled it, and then when it counted, they put the second goal away, and then Denmark were under huge pressure and couldn't come back. And Serbia got to make sure it doesn't happen to them now. It's also what they did to Denmark. Into the centre, Kukuczka for Slovakia, Valo at right back. Juris will lead the centre, nothing given. Very late again by the Russians. Finally, they give the free throw for the foul on Kopcho, the 23 year old line player. So now Juris is back. Valo 
Little dummy looks to pass to the line. He's got the ball, but he can't get free of his marker. Another free throw. Two and a half minutes remaining. It's all square here in Belgrade. It would be ironic if a team that's going out of the competition would be the only one to beat the host nation in the preliminary group. And so Serbia get the benefit of that call. Just about uh, two minutes remaining. This is the money time now. Whose nerves going to hold? Kutura looking for the options. Here comes the winger now. And now Ilic can follow in behind. And the handoff. The ball goes in, but uh, Stockel's ducking out of the way. Foul by uh, Dudas. And uh, Kocho. But he can't hide anywhere, I'm afraid. You're smack in the middle of the defence. One and a half minutes. Save. That's going to be another free throw. As uh, Dudas asks for the floor to be mopped. Koskic recovers the ball and the nerves on end here. Less than a minute and a half to go. The Slovakian supporters really looking for their team to go out with one big final hurrah here by beating the Serbians on their own turf. But Ilic, well, that's the last thing he wants. Long range start, beautiful. Bit of power behind that. Stankovic. And look at the bench, the relief. It does mean something to them. And the crowd as we go into the last minute. Trying to unsettle the... Uh, Slovakians and the team timeouts called, but the referees couldn't hear it. They took the players to point to their bench and <laughs> tell the referee, look, we, we've handed in the card. And Heist is saying, stay calm, guys, we've got time. Make this a long attack. They probably can't win it now. But what they can do at least is draw this game, and that would be a great result against Serbia, especially when you looked at the 13 6 scoreline at half time. But they've had so much more enterprise in the second half. They've really moved the ball around a lot better. Juric, who came in for Kukuchka, has really added that dimension that was missing. He's been finding the line, really spreading the ball wide as well. The wingers have come more into evidence. Antle and Urban were the ones who were instrumental in kicking off the revival for Slovakia in the second half. And now the whole team is believing and beginning to get the shots in. Even Valo, who's looking a little bit tentative earlier on, has started the long-range shots, and they're paying off. They're going to make this one long attack and make sure they don't give any time for the Serbians to come back on one final attack against them. So Vukovic, at least they're leading at the moment. Staying calm here, but you can see the way he reacted to that goal, how much it means to them to make sure that they uh, finish top of this group with maximum points. Recorded then the uh, timeout for the Serbian team as play is about to resume on the court behind. Here we go then. 21-20 to Serbia, 52 seconds. Valo. Got a chance, looks for the line. Kopcho, he scored. No, inside the area, say the referees. They've stopped the clock and given a penalty instead. Well, was he? They were closer than anybody else could be, but... Uh, Let's have a look again. He takes the ball. Well, he probably was. He'd gone down on his knees before releasing the ball under a lot of pressure. But uh, they've missed three penalties already against Marianac, so this is not a given when you get the penalty. He stands back like he did on the last one. It worked for him. Urban is the brave one who volunteers to take it. No problem, he scores. 21 all. But a chance now with maybe the final attack for Serbia to go out with their heads high on this one and win the game. But all credit to the Slovakians and Serbia have taken out their goalkeeper. And Stojkovic has come in as an extra court player. Wearing the blue bib, he's gone in. It's a 5-2 attack. But if they lose possession, there's an empty goal down the far end. Stojkovic comes out, goes back in again. Elix is waiting there. They desperately want to go out with a win. Free throw. Clock still ticking away, and there goes the buzzer. It's going to have to be direct. Well, 
Not yet there, Valo puts his hands up, come on, focus, it's a direct throw. Ilic, the captain, has probably got the hardest shot around. He lines up to take it. And this will be the end of the game, and what a famous uh, draw this would be for Serbia. Seven goals down at half-time, it's all square here in Belgrade now. Ilic to try and change that. Referee says right back, you've got to be three metres back, on the line. Oh, not a bad effort, skims the side of the goal. And Slovakia have done what neither Poland nor Denmark could do. And they've taken the point off the host nation in what has been an intimidating environment here in the Pioneer Arena. And all credit to them, seven goals down. They really almost had their heads dropped as they went in at the interval. The wingers kick-started the revival. Then the back players started believing the Serbians almost looked too relaxed in defence. They were turning the bench, but nevertheless, the defence failed to function against a far more mobile Slovakian attack, led by Juris, who made a great entrance into the second half and really got the pace going. But sadly for Slovakia, their heroics here in taking that point won't change anything. This is their last match, but at least it does mean that Valo, for whom this was his last match in the Slovakian shirt, goes out with a famous draw against the team who look as if they could go far in this Euro 2012. Stanic, who didn't play today, the hero of the last two games. But at least the Slovakians have shown what they could do, but Serbia still finished top of this group ahead of Poland and Denmark. What a game it's been, what a revival. And Serbia weren't uh, going easy either. You could see at the end when they took out their goalkeeper how desperate they were to at least go out psychologically with a win. So that's it then, Group A is over. The preliminary stages are gone and now for Serbia, Poland and Denmark in this group, they will merge into the other group. It would appear at least with uh, Germany, Sweden and Macedonia who are still leading by three in Nice. That could still change, you never know. Tomorrow it will be the last of the preliminary matches in Group C and D with uh, a lot of decisions still there with only Croatia guaranteed to go through at the moment in Group D. So man of the match. Richard Stockel, the goalkeeper for Slovakia, is named the man of the match, 212 caps. Played a brilliant uh, game in the end. 47% save rate and really played his part in the second half. That is the, their final appearance here, and the fans uh, can go home happy at least. For the national team of Serbia is number 17. And for Serbia, Rajko Prodanovic, the right winger, has picked up the man of the match award. And for them, five goals from five. Miguel Roja hands him the award. And uh, he can still look uh, happy. They're going through to the main round with maximum points. But they've been given a torrid old time here by Slovakia, unexpectedly so. Especially when in the first half they looked to have walked all over them and stamped the authority on the game. Just six goals in the first half for the Slovakians. What a revival that was. Well, let's have a look at the statistics from the game. 58% success rate on the shooting for Slovakia. Serbia which were well into their 50s at half time, went down to 45% only. Few fast breaks as both teams defended hard, but a lot of turnovers nevertheless. And, uh, top scorer was Proranovic then with the five goals, while for Slovakia, Juris and Kukuczka were the best with four goals. And uh, this is how the progression of the game went, and a long spell for the uh, Serbians without goals, but then again the Slovakians dried up a little bit later on in their revival. May have cost them a chance at winning it. This is where the Serbian goals came in. Three penalties, three fast breaks, and a fairly good spread across. But look at the back there. Two from 11 in the centre, one from four on either of the back positions. Not great on the long-range shooting, but neither, as you can see here, was Slovakia. It was mostly breakthroughs and penalties and the wingers who were in effect here. So, great win, or great draw, rather, for the Slovakians to come back to make it 21 all here against Serbia. Still, Serbia finished top of the group on five points ahead of Poland. Denmark and, Slo and the Slovakians still at the bottom of the table, but a heroic effort by them. And so those top three teams go through to the main round and it should be an intriguing rest of the competition. Hope you've enjoyed the game here then from Belgrade, but for now, from me, Paul Bray, a very good night to you.